Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm gonna go ahead and hit random. I uh, know I just played Eve last time. Uh, how about Lazarus came up, and that's what we're gonna do, I guess. I haven't played Lazarus in what feels like a while. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say I haven't played Lazarus in an actual while. Here's the seed. Pills range down. I never get good pills out of that first pill. So, Lazarus can respawn. Uh... His respawn is in the same room that he dies, and he gets boosted stats for doing so, as well as the anemic item, which is a range up and uh, track blood on the ground. If you get hit in a room, sack dagger is pretty good. That will uh, block tears and do a lot of damage to enemies, like a lot. Two soul hearts already, this is going to be a great floor. Uh, so some people like to save the respawn for uh, overpaying for the first deal with devil or a later deal with devil but if i don't die as soon as possible i always lose overall like the entire run so uh and i also don't think that's a worthwhile thing to wait for anyway so i just don't worry about it and i just die immediately basically tears up fantastic and nothing doesn't matter i didn't see what color the tears up bill was though so Tough life. So we also have uh, negative one luck. If we have, if we still have negative one luck, when we respawn, we'll get set to zero. But now, uh, yeah, we'll be at that point. So that'll be fine. Thanks, dude. Okay. Would. Playing this extra risky because I'm really just not very scared of dying, of course. Pedigram is one damage up and a 20% devil rune chance increase. And uh, our respawn gives us a 1.2 damage multiplier, so we will be in pretty good shape for first floor. So let's go ahead and die. Pick up the soul heart, pick up the other soul heart. I don't have any keys, so I can't really find myself caring about that chest, but it's worth checking in case it wasn't a golden chest. Any other chest I could have opened. So, onwards to good stuff, hopefully. We've got good damage, we've got no map, and a uh, dream. We've got a dream. Oh, one shot these guys on the second floor, that's a good sign. Alright, this way. Of course I have no idea where I'm going without a map, but I'll find all the things I need to find eventually gonna say I need a key at some point, but the game was on top of things. Yeah, very on top of things. I think that might be the tears up. No. It's good old nothing. Well, I should have just gone while I was invincible there. So that was just really unfortunate luck, but I have a bomb for this uh, Tinted Rock, so hopefully we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Found my secret room by accident, which is uh, not bad. Alright, dude, chill. Perfect. Gotta love the Sack Dagger. Sadly, using your orbital constantly can be a problem when you don't have uh, control over where the orbital is going, which you never do. How weird would that be, an orbital that you could, like, choose to stop? It would be interesting, to say the least. But it would probably be really clunky, basically. 
having to have an extra key or extra function for a control just doesn't sound pleasant. Will he ever find the item room? Who knows? Who knows? The answer is not now. Alright, every time I pick up a coin, there's a 50% chance it's worth one extra cent. Pin shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem at all. Speed up, range and shot height up. Speed up's by 0.6. Wow, I have to go with this, but I really want those black hearts, man. So we're at one heart, but that's fun. Uh, Death's Touch gives me piercing tears. It's a 1.5 damage up, 0.3 tears down. And a larger tier hitbox, which is really, really good. Okay, what do we got? Crystal ball. Give me a soul heart. Could have waited for the next floor, but I also didn't want to take a chance of dying when I finished the floor. So that doubled my keys. Wow, that would have been bad. We got it. Tinted rock? Not so far. There we go. That's what I needed to see. If I had regular tears, I would have tried to push that over to the thing, but I didn't. Alright, health is fine. Now we're good. Too bad we couldn't get the ceremonial robes. That's one damage up and uh, three black hearts, which is why it was the safer pickup, but I'm not one to play safe. Piercing makes uh, bee lickers pretty easy. He says he still gets hit by them twice. So the crystal ball, that's going to give me the full map for the floor minus the top secret room, as well as a soul heart or a card. Are you joking? Suicide King. Oh, man. Spoonbender for homing shots. That's pretty nice. The Suicide King kills me to drop a bunch of stuff, up to three items, which is nice, but I have to have a respawn for that to matter. So I gotta be very careful not to hit Q by accident. I've never hit Q by accident with Suicide King, but it is a thing that can happen. You know, I have hit Q by accident, just not with Suicide King. Invincibility for about 30 seconds, 20 or 30. Uh, good to have, good item. Not usually necessary, but still good. But I, I want to make Suicide King work. So that's the goal. Almost every time I get it, I can't though. I don't get any respawns. Or I get uh, the collar, which never respawns me. All right. Don't need any of that. Well, let's see what this is. Forty-eight hour energy. Oh my. Expected another suicide king to be honest. Jeez. So many batteries. Ah, I knew that would happen. So I'll check out the curse room after the boss fight. Alright, ball bandages. Doesn't block tears, but 
that uh, does a lot of contact damage. So there's that. Curse room, I'm gonna need a uh, dead cat. Show me. Pandora's box. Just a health up. That doesn't help me, obviously. As far as respawning. But it's not a bad thing to have. You know, so I can get my next devil room and be like, yeah. I'm all about that. Eat up. There's my tears up. That's the luck I need. So maybe next floor we'll get to use Suicide King. Maybe not. Who knows, that's the fun. Want to use it in a curse room, of course. As it uh, uses the pool of whatever room you're in for any items that it drops. Check this out, because I have a lot of keys. Blow him up, because I don't need him. Got my bomb back. I just didn't get my keys back. Whoa. Excuse me. I'll check it out. Empress. Don't really need it. Did I just not take damage? Alright, don't need those. Right, so let's clear out the dead ends. Nice. May as well. Tower. Uh, could get me the secret room for free. Which means that I can use the bomb that I would have used to get here to go to the item room for free. But bombs gives me five bombs and makes uh, my bombs... Oh, it didn't activate yet, right? Uh, makes my bombs kind of like poison the room, basically. It does a little bit of damage to everything in the room. Uh, it's not great, but it's not nothing. So, I don't know. It also, I guess, uh, kind of confuses enemies. They'll run around uh, not knowing what to do for a bit. God, homing with piercing is so good, especially with the big tier hitbox. It's something I don't see too often. Homing alone, I don't see often, but I haven't been seeing Death's Touch much at all uh, in recent recent times. So it's not uh, not so bad. I run into the wall so they don't see me. Check this out. Read. Blood donation machine I don't need. I need a respawn, man. Help me out. Just just let me do this. And uh, obviously more useful at this point. Obviously, I could have kept my respawn for later, but Suicide King is an extremely rare card, and that's not something worth keeping your Lazarus respawn over. You know, unless you find it immediately on the first floor. So Fallen guarantees us a double room item, which gives me flight and uh, 0.3 speed up if I get something else that modifies my speed. Wow, I just can't do it. Cannot be done. Alright, well, good to go. Good to go. Oops. Don't need that. Flight was good. You know, happy to pick that up. Is 
that, take that, and then blow him up. Because I needed money. So I picked up the red patch, which is when I get hit, 20% chance to gain 1.8 damage for the remainder of the room. Not bad. Hmm, I guess this means I'm trusting up over down. Don't know if I should. Probably not. Looking at it now. It's my own fault. Black bean. Beggars like to drop it, so it's good to get rid of it now. Uh, as it says, two non touch poison enemies that are nearby. It's useless, essentially. Don't really need more red hearts. That. Let's check out the curse room. Nope. No escape for you. Okay. I'd still really like a respawn. Like, why is it so hard to come across Dead Cat when I actually want it? for its respawns and not for being a guppy piece. But it's so easy to find the rest of the time. I don't know. The game just wants me to risk it and end up killing myself by accident. I have so much health too, so if I killed myself, it'd be really, really, really silly. Alright, so this will hit a lot. Be pretty nice. Okay, super greed. Unimportant amounts of money. room covered in rocks and still no tinted rock. I don't really care about that one cent. Alright, Loki. 0.5 damage up, some amount of range up. No devil room. My devil room luck is just bad. Okay. Oh, nice. Managed to get hit by that. Uh, that's pretty useful. Alright, I should be in a hurry. So I can see the boss rush, what's up in there. So that means that I am going to head to the curse room. And then rush my way over to the item room. Joker. Not the dead cat. But I've now checked that and I don't need it anymore. The moon. Secret room. Teleport. Saved me a bomb and a little bit of time, I guess. Not entirely a little bit of time, because I have to backtrack for this now. Pick that up so it's not in the shop. And then run. Alright. This was a floor that didn't really want me to go through it quickly. Fortunately, I am powerful. Alright, blue map shows me where both secret rooms are, compass shows me where icon rooms are, and that is 48 hour energy. Let's see, what are you? Beggar. Full map for the floor. Don't need those things. So, we get the top secret room on the way. And then speed up. Dang, dude. Let's see what this is. Alright, not useful. Let's 
see what these are. Vision, full map for the floor, Perthrow D6 for the room. Uh, I didn't take the item room item, so I need to get my butt over there and do that. Alright, better than nothing. Just admiration. Uh, Shortish, middle ish distance. Attack fly does a pretty decent amount of damage per hit. Uh, hits often. Let me get out of here. Alright. You just got destroyed by my orbitals. Get this to the chest. Let's check this out. Wow. I mean, I don't... I, I kind of want the triple shot, and I kind of want the fear shot for the fire rate delay. I guess I'll take the fear shot for the fire rate delay. It's a delay minus one on your fire rate, which uh, can pass the max fire rate since it doesn't go through the normal formula for it. So I guess it'll be fine. Now I have to fight this whole boss rush business. At least we get another item at the end of it. Now. Sadly, I can't just suicide king out because I don't have a... Uh, I'd have to fight it again anyway. So I, this doesn't really make sense to do. At least if I wanted to pick up any of the items. So, no big deal. Okay. Life is good. Where did Loki go? Loki, stop it. I wish that I could just get my respawn, though. Hey, hey, Loki. Cool it. Well, they split up quickly. My DPS is only kind of okay at this point. Oh my god, I'm getting hit by the silliest darn things. Uh, oh, okay, that was everyone already. I mispositioned myself. Poop trinket. Don't really need, I gotta say. Oh my god, really? Alright. Yeah, I figured I'd get that laser right about then. Usually do. gonna be a slow wave. This is one of the two hardest waves, I'm, I'd say. Now, of course, it's easy to think that the wave with the bloat, the Mask of Infamy is difficult, but honestly, the bloat just kills the Mask of Infamy for you if you do it right, and you only have to fight the bloat. So I, I'd say that's pretty free. I didn't do it right. Bad luck, though, that he didn't uh, attack immediately. Oh, there we go. Worked out later, anyway. Hey. 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 He stopped saying hi. He doesn't like me anymore. Alright, so I've lost a lot of health. Which makes this more interesting immediately. I wonder what item we can pull off. That's the real question at this point. Last wave. Okay. 
still being extra careful as far as uh, accidentally hitting Q. Capricorn, that's good. All stats up, which is also a fire rate delay minus one. It's a 0.5 damage up, which is more than most all stats up. More than any other. Well, that was a bad read, obviously. Okay, I didn't accidentally take the poop trinket. Which is good, because I didn't want it. Thanks, Curse the Maze. Really doing, uh, doing your job of being annoying. Let's me buy everything in the devil uh, room or the shop at no cost. Not really that appealing to me. Don't need that. Unlimited keys for the floor, a little unnecessary. For once, you can actually get damage on Skull X. Skull X really doesn't like uh, you getting damage in. Tears up and shot speed up. Fine. I have a good fire rate, probably max for what I can get right now. Uh, I guess that's it here. Could go to the curse room, but eh, no guts, no glory, I guess. I can fly, so it only costs me to leave. Alright, this should be easy enough. Wow! Good job. Oh well, makes things more interesting. Okay, good. Like, I'm shooting a lot of tears, and I've got this, so this will help. Everything should be okay. God. Punks. Okay, I was going to say, are there three? There are four. They're both troll bombs. Thanks. Invincibility, that's good. Means I get to just leave. And that was free and profitable. So now let's just go. Thinking that. Don't want the credit card. Thinking that we're not going to get to use this card. This way. I trust this direction. And if not, this will put me there. Okay, so it's just to the right, and that's fine. Easy, perfect floor. Hey, buddy. Just want to check out the top secret room as well. Because you can get good things like that. And that. And then leave. Alright, I, just a second. Thank you, I. Dang. Oops. 
Ah, that room's just a trapdoor. Unnecessary. Alright, saved this one this time. Long floor. Nothing I can really do to avoid that. Alright, thank you for your cooperation. I'm out of here. This one's easy. I like this one. Okay, I'm not gonna pass the. I'm gonna pass the top secret room just on purpose. Okay. I guess I may as well take the eternal heart. Not really making it a point to avoid health. Not the dead cat, you're great. Thanks. Alright, nice easy room. I'm into that. Now, I'll get something after this room, but I think I'll fight the boss first. Save it for the next floor. Mr. Mega, five more bombs. Increased blast radius and damage. Oh, that sucks. I might not get to save it. I'll play it slow. That should have hit me, let's be real. But as long as we don't get totally screwed by anything, we should be fine. I'm definitely fast enough. Okay. So far, so good. Keeps putting it there, and that's fine. I'm I'm ready. Gotcha. So the aggressive play was the bad part, but it happens. Okay, three hearts. There's my map. Couldn't give me a respawn item. Nope. Daddy long legs. Uh, shadow attack stuff. Spider baby, when I get hit, I spawn spiders. Samson's chains blocks tears, damages enemies, flails around. I'll even take this. It's a fire rate delay minus two. It makes it so that my tears uh, just stay in the air uh, until I let go, and then they move. Uh, obviously, you can see that my fire rate is absolutely obscene now. And this is kind of playable because of the homing. You know, I don't really have to care where I'm aiming. I just kind of let stuff happen and they'll do their own thing anyway. And like, no matter where I aim, they kind of home in on something anyway. It's all good. It's probably about the best time to have anti-gravity, an item that I never take for the reason that it's mostly pretty terrible. Ah, uh, that's close. You can also just pretty much spam let go as often as you want and you'll also do well with that. Alright. Good enough so far. Okay, let's just keep on letting go of Salvos. I think we'll be okay. 
They also take on whatever angle you're moving at when you uh, first fire them. Too bad I don't have sad bombs. That'd be a dream come true. So obviously, all sorts of things can go wrong, and I can die at any moment, depending on my room luck, but I'm feeling okay for now. Uh, that's another item. I should play it for soul hearts, but I'm not that kind of guy. Oh, that's my only item to reroll. Oh, it's not very useful. Ow. Ow. If I died to a polycephalus, that would be embarrassing. That's a bad idea to take. Oh, perfect. Gets me some polar invincibility. Nice one-time thing. Don't want that, honestly, so that's good not to pick up by accident. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm actually dead. I don't really care, though, because I was going to die after the fight anyway. I don't know, I feel like the first two hits were kind of unlucky. I probably could have dodged them, of course, but they were still unlucky. And then... The last one was avoidable for sure. Mmm, good stretch. Uh, that is gonna do it for today. Not new run stats. Seven more to go. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you next time.